Children's author paints a colorful picture of what life is like on a ranch, and now she's being awarded a grant for her work. MTN's Owen Skornick Hayes has more on the woman changing agricultural education for children. Every year, the Montana Farmers Union gives out tens of thousands of dollars in grants to promote agricultural education around the state. Earlier this year, they gave a small chunk of that to a woman in small town Scobie, Montana, who's looking to promote that education through her picture books. I had the idea for my first book um, for quite a while. Every time I'd go into the barn and um, it was time to feed, all the animals were just really noisy. And I thought, what a great story this would be. Though originally from northern Colorado, Tammy Flattiger has made a home out of Montana all her life from Shepherd to Shoto to now her slice of heaven in Scobie. It was there on her ranch that she came up with the idea to write stories for children just over a year ago. There's just so many stories and moments on the ranch that um, are fun to share and really kind of take the mystery out of agriculture. And that's that's really what I want to do with these books. So she's out there doing the legwork and actually um, teaching those kids where their meals come from. Tammy was awarded $2,500 from the Montana Farmers Union Foundation, which she will use to travel to kindergarten classes across the state, sharing her lifestyle and literature. You know, the average age of the farmers and ranchers now are 55 years old. And so we need um, to find ways to get other younger people involved in it. We have that issue in today's day and age where you ask a kid, like, you know, where's your loaf of bread come from? Where's, where's your hamburger come from? And they just say the grocery store. And so you want to take that next step to get them to understand that it's actually coming from ranches and um, farms across the state. Her most recent entries, including Carol Drives a Tractor and What Do Ranchers Do, teach the farm to table process by bringing the farm to the classroom. I love the joy that little kids have. Just to plant that seed, I guess I'm farming, and maybe get them to ask those questions and, and be aware of their food. And this tour is just the beginning. Tammy has plans for several more books in her growing collection. It'll be something that um, keeps me busy for quite a while. From Great Falls, Owen Skornick Hayes, MTN News. Today marked the end of an era at Malmstrom Air Force Base, and the honorees were of the four-legged variety. KRTV's newest addition, Tommy Lynch, has the story from the base. At Malmstrom Air Force Base, the 341st Missile Wing are celebrating the retirement of two military working dogs. After nine and seven years, or 63 and 49 dog years, Barry and Kay are retiring from the United States Air Force. But just how helpful are dogs to have in the Air Force? Well, they got a great sense of smell, and they're also really big and scary. So, Military working dogs are incredibly useful tools and team members, helping with everything from bomb threats to routine car inspections. So K-9 is a really great tool and capability that we don't always get to use. But when we do need them, um, they really are a phenomenal um, a phenomenal partner to have in those situations, whether it's detection or patrol. Although these two dogs are leaving the base, their impact will not soon be forgotten. He might be retiring and he'll get a replacement just like the military, right? We get new airmen in and then old ones retire out. However, he's made his stamp on Malmstrom Air Force Base and there's nobody that's going to be able to fill these paw prints, I can promise you that. After they enjoyed a little puppuccino latte, all that's left to ask is how they'll be enjoying their retirement. So that's my whole job from here on out is lots of love, cuddles, any kind of treats he wants, any toys he wants, anything. He wants to sleep on the couch, he sleeps on the couch. He wants to sleep on the bed, he sleeps on the bed. While Barry and Kay's service is invaluable, it's time to shepherd in the next generation of military working dogs. All we can hope for these two now is that they have a long retirement filled with belly rubs and treats. With MTN News, I'm Tommy Lynch.